Hi, this is Tanner from Seed Code, and I'd like to show how easy it is to extend day back using FileMaker scripting and event actions. So every event has a little icon in the popover down here, the little cog, and we call this event actions. And we ship day back with a couple of sample ones, view event record, for example, and uh, sample custom action. If we click on the sample custom action, we're just running a dialogue to show, hey, we're passing in the event ID. Uh, but view event record actually is pretty useful. If we click this, it's going to find the event record uh, on the view event layout. So you could customize this layout to include anything you want regarding that event. So this actually gives you a lot of power to customize some things you can do from the context of an event. But I think we can take it even further than that uh, and not take you out of context of the calendar. So you don't have to leave the layout, come back, have the calendar reload like that. So I have a couple of examples here that I've added down at the bottom, map contact and send email. So map contact simply takes us to a new layout op or opens a new window, then takes us to a new layout and maps the address at that contact record. So you can see I clicked map contact, takes us to a new window and shows us a map of that address. Uh, very cool, and we can get directions from here or whatever. This is just the standard uh, Google Maps web viewer. So I just created a new web viewer, used Google Maps. I removed everything after the query variable because we didn't need all those separate state, city, uh, zip code stuff. Uh, and I just added the address field at the very end here. So once I did that, everything worked great. And I'm just using the same table uh, that we were using before. So if I show our uh, toolbar here, so I'm just using the sample events table, which is the same table we're using for our action view event layout. So what I did is I just duplicated this layout, removed all the fields, added that web viewer, and then I had a great map that's going to display that address. We can take a look here in our script manager, and if I go to load source settings at startup, uh, we can take a look and see how I added uh, those new buttons. So we actually show this in other videos, so I won't spend too much time, but we have a custom event actions uh, variable here. And if we click here, you can see that I've added two buttons, map contact, and it's going to run the map contact from web viewer script, and then send email, which runs the send email from web viewer script. So that's how I added those to the event actions uh, pop-out drawer. So let's look at those scripts themselves because they're really simple. So map contact from web viewer, I simply duplicated uh, this go to event record from web viewer script and made a few minor changes. So we're now, instead of just going to the layout, I'm now drawing a new mini window. We have a built-in script that you can utilize to do this. We just pass in a few parameters here. So some of the parameters being uh, the layout name, uh, the window name, the offset. So I want this window to open 100 pixels down and 100 pixels uh, to the right of the left edge, and then the style. So uh, you can check out that script and, and see what the parameters options are if you want to change that. Or you can simply just say new window here uh, if draw mini window is more complex than, than you need. Once I've done that, I'm going to the layout that we want. And then the bottom step here is just finding the record based on that event ID. So super simple, and we now have the ability to map contacts. So the other one that I did is send email from web viewer. And this one actually is pretty simple too. Uh, in some ways it's even more simple. Uh, what I wanna do is open up a email in my uh, preferred email client with the email address of that contact associated to the event already populated. So I created a very simple SQL statement using SQL Explorer. SQL Explorer makes this very easy. It's very FileMaker-like. You just pick which uh, fields you want to use, which field you want to search on. And the only change I had to make, I, I copied and pasted that calculation in here. The only change I made right here is the value that we're searching on. I just changed to our event ID variable. You can see right here that gets assigned when we run this script. So that's the only change I made to a very simple, and we can take a look at this too. So all I'm doing is I'm just selecting the email address. I've got a little join from our, uh, from our sample events to our contacts table. This way I can use the event ID to essentially find data in the contacts table. No relationships required at all because it's SQL. 
then I just send mail using my email client and I pass in that email address that we just got and uh, I do assign a subject of day back but that could be blank or, or whatever you'd like. So let's take a look at that because I think this is pretty neat too. So let's, uh, let's close this window here and I can click on send mail and we just get a nice little email dialog using Apple Mail because that's my preferred client. Uh, you can see the email address gets populated. We can of course then type our message and send an email. So if we want to take this even further, uh, you could actually edit that send mail script to, for example, send a notification to somebody. If you didn't want to open it up in your mail client, you could pre-populate the message and the subject based on data uh, in related records. Uh, if you're a dental office, for example, you could send reminders, hey, your dental appointment is coming up, things of that nature. Uh, and of course the sky's the limit here because we are in FileMaker land running scripts, going to layouts and everything else we need to do or know how to do in FileMaker. So you don't have to worry about the complexities of the calendar and the web viewer. Uh, now you're doing native FileMaker functions. So hopefully this will help you extend the usability of Dayback uh, and make you feel a little more comfortable uh, with getting into the guts and, and making changes yourself. Thanks for watching.